Guys, what's happened since we last checked in? Um, it's been a bit tricky the last couple of days. We've had our uh, brown out. Uh, so they've been working on the power in our um, area. So we've had the power's been out for three days straight. So yeah, it's been tricky. Um, but anyway, we'll go have a look and see what's going on. Boy's doing the uh, plastering, he's doing a really good job. Now we finish this room and then we'll be on to the next one. So, looking good. So, this is uh, midnight as we've introduced before. Um, she's actually really starting to settle in now, she's getting a lot more confident. Um, starting to put a bit more weight on, so. When we first got her, she, was in a, she wasn't in the best condition. Um, she had a really bad leg, so we've taken to the vet and she's been on antibiotics and um, we've got you know, really good food for her. So yeah, she's um, doing a lot better. She gives the cat grief. One of the last uh, things we're going to do up here will be a wall that goes across here and it will connect into this um, wall here. And that's just going to block all that out there. So yeah, that will be a wall, probably nearly about the same height as the door, maybe a bit higher, and that will go straight across and then down and then connect into that little wall there. And then there'll be all plants and um, ferns and stuff behind it. So that's gonna be the last thing and that's when we have to move the mixer um, and uh, yeah, tidy this whole area up. This bunkhouse is gonna have to go, so that's just a temporary thing. The boys will take the materials down the bottom and they'll build that down the bottom. So that's an area where they can put their tools and you know their bags and stuff like that. Did some uh, deliveries yesterday with the ute, which I would have done again this morning, but John's gone in to get more iron for the roof out the back. So he's taken the, um, the little truck. So this is the pile of dirt here. I've just been driving the truck down here and then dropping the dirt. Um, and then the boys are just bagging it and taking it to the staircase, which I'll take you to in a sec. So today the boys are moving the dirt from the bottom hill um, up here to level it out here. Um, but someone's got the ute bogged, as we call it in Australia. Um, so the boys are having to use timber to get it out. We're hoping that um, it'll come out soon. It is full drive, but um, it looks like it's gone a little bit too close to the wall. And this is this one. She's being a very good girl, aren't you? She doesn't like to be alone. She gets um, a bit of separation anxiety sometimes. Um, so Josh has just tied her up and she can be with us while we're working away. And there's this one, oh. Mr. Muscles. Um, he's clearing out, clearing up the area because we find that when we're building there is just so much um, timber, rubbish that just gets accumulated. So we spent the morning just clearing up all this area here and throwing that down onto the road. I've already cleared one whole pile of that timber and now I'm on to making a second pile. It just does not stop. Yeah, so. So much timber. Clean up I think is always, with any project, is always time consuming and the biggest part you don't really want to do at the end. Uh, one of the trickiest things uh, in the Philippines I've found with building is that waiting for materials is very frustrating. Um, sometimes you can wait for two weeks to, you know, get that special ordered paint or, um, you know, special bolts or um, hinges or, you know, Bridget, she does all the design of the rooms and stuff. So like door handles, all that stuff. So yeah, I think that's probably one of the most frustrating things I find. Um, so if you are gonna do something like this, I would try and order it way ahead of time. So you already have it when you are coming to the point of, um, you know, constructing it or building it. Um, so yeah, that's a tip for me. We used to clean these rooms right out. Um, so. These are starting to get to that finish stage now in the way of um, the doors are going to go in, we're going to put the lights in, um, plaster is going to go on the roof, then we can paint the roof, sink in, um, and then yeah, these and the tiles for the floor and we should be, uh, should be laughing. So yeah, it's, it's good, um, these, are, these are coming along nicely. 
The thing I love about this property is that we are just surrounded by coconut trees. They are everywhere. So if you want a coconut, you've always got a coconut here. So Harry is just going up and he's just going to get coconuts for everyone, all the boys here. So, whoop, oh, just dropped a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're going to be having coconuts. So it's another day and it was raining a lot this morning and the boys didn't turn up. They had a lot of days off last week um, and they didn't turn up again today. So we are having to take control and do it ourselves. Um, and this is mum, I couldn't help but laugh before. Um, the boys got <laughs> the boys got a um, bamboo, or Harry got a bamboo stick the other day. It's really clever to be able to um, reach the really high spots of the wall. A really, really big wall. Um, we made these really high, so it's going to take a little bit of time and determination, but I'm sure she's got that. So once um, that's done, we'll be able to put the little front shelters on, which me and Josh are really excited to get on because um, it'll really make a big difference of what this looks like um, out the front. Um, so that's all four doors you can see there. Um, and this is the wall which got painted the other day and rendered by the boys. Morning guys, we are officially in starting the wet season. So it's been raining for the last three days straight and today it's not too bad. It's just, you know, on and off. Um, but the boys are working today, they didn't come in today. We only had a couple of boys in yesterday, so it's good to have a fair few boys here. Um, I went down the shop, got some tarp, so they can set up some shelters so we can keep going, because um, if you wait for the rain, nothing's gonna get done. So that's the tricky thing, um, trying to keep the work going when it's raining. But um, let's go have a look and see what's going on. It is raining. Um, it's, it's a little trickier to work in, that's for sure, but we just needed it. Everything was dying. Um, all the green we were starting to go away, so now the rain's hit here. You can just see everything's starting to go more green and all the dead stuff's coming back to life. And yeah, so it's looking a lot more fresh. day on the construction site. Josh tied this one out this morning. She was running up and down the cliff um, so she's pretty much out for the day. She's so tired now. Um, and then this is what Josh is up to. Him and Harry are loading up our little multi-cab with the dirt down the bottom um, so we can use it in the front landscaping. Um, but you'll see that there's been dirt added to the front but there is still this much dirt there is just so much dirt there left to use um, but at least we're, <laughs> we've got an unlimited supply so which is really great because it comes in handy for landscaping um, it's just a bit of a pain obviously the bo boys having to go up and down with the truck and loading it up all the time this is where it'd be really handy to have some machinery on electrical rooms been fully enclosed now i don't know if you guys can see but it's quite dark in here um, so we're just going to use this as a big storage um, facility. Uh, John is going to um, keep all the tools down here. We're going to make a solid door so it can be all locked up. Um, so yeah, this is going to be great because at the moment he's got his tools in the villa living with him and it's just so crowded in there with all the tools. So this will be awesome. Um, and the boys, you know, they can come down and grab tools and not disturb us by asking us for the tools. So. Yeah, really good. It's a bit messy down here at the moment. We need to organize it. Uh, on Monday, the uh, boys are going to put these piers in so we can continue this um, bagola roof uh, across all these villas. So yeah, that's going to be good. We can't wait to put shelter, proper shelter. I've just got a couple of tarps up there at the moment, um, which don't do the best job. The water gets caught and then it just drops buckets of water and scares the crap out of the dogs. So. Yeah, so that's um, not the best, but we can't wait to have a proper roof on there and um, get that uh, undercover area going. Chickens, um, the little ones are getting pretty big now. They've uh, We've seen these guys from when they're absolutely tiny, so it's good to see that they're um, 
they're getting a good size now and they just they just cruise around the property live the life the best life a chicken can <laughs> um, so yeah that's our little guys there well, this is some of the um, the glass that we use for the back doors so that's just been delivered recently so we've just got this storing in one of the villas um, so that's ready to go uh, we're just waiting on the doors to come and then we will get the installers to come and they will fit the glass inside the doors so um, yeah it's a bit tricky like normally you can just buy a door with the glass already in it but we're kind of going for that you know create your own um, your door and you've got your own design so um, yeah we just like it that way I think a bit of uniqueness and here's uh, the French doors for the back so this is the door we've had these made so these are all handmade um, by our uh, craftsman and the glass is just going to fit in here um, the bottom no sorry the top one will come off sorry <laughs> The top one will come off, the glass will get fitted in, and then this piece will get fitted back on. And then there's dowels to hold the top in. So, yeah. Um, we have gone for a bit of a different design with the doors as well. The doors are bigger than what the normal door is. So we'd like that big aspect of big doors. So um, it really helps that we did get them custom made because you just can't buy these doors um, this size ready to go. So all the gyp rocks done now um, for the living area. The only spot we haven't done is the bathroom because we have to hook a couple of pipes up and um, John's got to do some tinkering in there. I don't know exactly what he's doing but yeah he's got to do something in there. So. Yeah, the boys have put this in. Uh, we showed them how to do a couple of sheets and then we kind of go, okay, you do it, we'll watch you. And they've just been doing an amazing job. That's actually really good um, for these boys never to have done this before. They've done, yeah, excellent job. So um, we haven't been too far away always, always checking on it just to see, you know, just that double check to make sure it's all going good. But um, yeah, done a really good job, I think. So this is uh, the staircase now. You can see all the mud. It's just, the whole place is just full of mud at the moment. Um, so we did a bit of cleaning up for here. Still a bit of rubbish we still need to clean up, but all this along here is gonna get rendered. Um, and then along the stairs, if I step over here, along there, it's meant to get rendered as well. So yeah, we're going for the same design as we've done with the front section. Um, I just, yeah, I really like how those stairs have turned out. So I was like, well, let's just copy it for these ones. So yeah, it's turned out good. Boys have got their own little shelter going on down here for the rain. Um, and the dirt that I've been getting yesterday is just filling up these uh, platforms. Boy, he's working on the second roof here, absolutely killing it. It's looking really good. Uh, got John and Harry. Putting in our feature support. Yep. Uh, yeah, in there too. Just here. In the hole. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's looking. It's getting there. In, and that's going to look like these ones here. So. Just uh, as you can see, they're in there and supporting the roof. So this uh, this part of the roof here has been done. Um, in the middle, we're going to cover all that in with like a, a hay kind of. Uh, material so you won't see any of the color bond fence it will just be all nice underneath uh, and these posts here they're going to get rendered as well so and then the back will be all painted and the bathtubs the handles will be put in and um, yeah it should finish off this back section